Remember that one time when I told that stereotypical black guy that I would help him clear out a parking garage and steal some sort of product from a deal? Well, that is still happening right now, and I'm still in this godforsaken parking garage. I, um, I'm having a lot of trouble, I will admit. My character is not at all combat ready whatsoever, and so pretty much everything I've done to get this far has been Linkin Park-fueled shenanigans. I'm gonna try now. I regenerated a little bit of health while I was setting up my recording. Just in general. Oh my god, come on. Just keep firing. Okay, here we go. What up, baseball bad guy? That pistol dude is gonna take my head off. It's just gonna take me two years. Jeez. I mean, oh my god, freaking out. Oh, I was really low on blood. Yeah, okay. That makes some sense. He shot his friend. You bastard. I needed that guy. This is kind of a weird paradox because my character is too physically weak to actually, um grab any of these gang member guys they will overpower him even though i am a big scary vampire these guys are still tougher than me god damn it crossbow gun stop sucking thank you well that horrifying pile of bodies okay so i have a little bit of blood now to work with i'm not gonna heal just yet but i'm gonna keep that selected just so that i can do that And I think... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, it looks like this floor is clear, so I'm not... Oh, I take that back. There we go. All right. Let's go check this door here. I'm not sure if I can... No, it is one of the painted on doors. That's one of the ways you can tell if you can interact with something in this game is if it doesn't have a door handle that is actually rendered, you probably can't open it. I'm actually gonna pop a quick save here just because I really don't wanna have to do that all over again. And it would be a pity if you had to watch a whole nother episode of me staying in this parking garage. There is a guy now. Oh, hello. Never mind. I was going to take that ladder, but they have already spotted me. Ooh. Uh oh. I am out of ammo. Let's not use that worthless gun. Oh god, I'm getting shot by that dude that actually knows accuracy. Heal. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. God, get away from me! Is that the guy with the suitcase coming after me? Holy crap. All right, there's one of them. Hey, you are not getting away. Get your ass back here. What the fuck? Is he, he's fighting the other gang member. They think the deal has gone south. Hey, come back here. Damn it. I only have seven shots left. Holy crap, this, play, this has gone so far south. Okay, so we got both of the guys who are who have suitcases. They're both dead. It is an all-out fucking gang war down here, though. You know what? I'm just gonna leave those pistol guys alone. The other team has fucking machine guns, and I don't want to tangle with them any more than I have to. You hear that? Yeah. We'll take out this guy. Well, no, we won't. Not without an incredible amount of trying. This gun is, this firearm is so poor 
that even if I am trying to kill him, I physically cannot. It's like a safety gun for babies. Oh god, oh god. That guy's gonna swing around and he's just gonna start shooting at us. I'm not gonna let him have the chance. I saved your ass, whoever you are. Okay, this is working pretty well. Bushwhack these guys with a shotgun. Okay, oh god, here, he co here I come, here I come, here I come. Nice. Alright, so this deal has gone all hella south. Um... There doesn't seem to be anything to pick up down here, so what I might have to do is go loot the bodies. Oh, there, nope, there is the suitcase. All right, I got Larry's briefcase. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, to be fair, Larry's probably going to be pissed that I decided to go all John Woo on these guys. But honestly, after all the shit they put me through, they deserved it. And I will take every opportunity I have get more ammo for this actually surprisingly effective firearm. Alright. It's kind of funny because it actually fires and does a lot more damage if you just shoot once or twice. And games always talk about burst fire, but typically that isn't with a Uzi. Or like a weird knockoff Uzi. I don't really know what this gun is. I should... Let's see. No, with an Ingram Mac 10 Okay. I don't think that looks like a Mac-10, but you know what? Color me. I, I don't know anything about guns. We're just going to be real quiet about that. All right. Hmm. God, it's almost as long walking back up as it is getting down here. kind of astounding when you think about the ridiculous loss of life that happens to have had happens to have happened here i mean i think like 40 or 50 people lost their life you know the killings that they're all in the papers from the docks where two or three people died what are they going to write about this they're probably not going to write anything but meh i'll take it hey nagaraja the f yeah the flesh-eating nagaraja that must be what pisha is I had forgotten the name of them, so I don't remember, but my vampire brain is incredibly rusty. When I used to play that game way back in the day, it was not such a matter uh, of reading all the books and then coming to a conclusion with your friends as it was one person reading the book and then getting secondhand information all the way down the line to everybody else. So about half the rules when we played that game were probably wrong. Like, it was pretty ridiculous. Hey, Larry, what's partner. up? Got the briefcase. Outstanding! Pass it over here, partner. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man <laughs> right here after. All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Nice. Then I'm going to give me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm going to order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You want to come? My treat. Nah, man. I'll have to pass. Say, my girl down at Confession, named Venus Dare. She acting around for someone with skills to... Well, I let her tell you. I'll give her a call. Recommend you if you're interested. Um, yeah. Man, what you do with all this stuff, I don't want to know. Just keep that cash flowing. <laughs> all right, I will, Larry. Come on. What else you got for me? Um, where's your special stuff that you promised me you would get me? Mm, I can buy a Glock now, and I might as well. So now I can buy a Glock ammo. Okay, so put a bunch of bullets in that, and then a bunch of Mac-10 bullets if we don't have any. Is he not selling? Oh no, there. It's all out of order. There. 
can just have all the money I just gave you. I'll take it out in ammo. You can have this car stereo. Um, Alright. Cool. I really want to play with my new gun, but I probably shouldn't do it, like, in the middle of the street. Oh, whatever. Live dangerously. Check it out. Yeah. Proper pistol. A proper aiming spread. Might actually be able to kill someone with this. Oh, God. This club... Oh, Jesus! That's really, 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 really bad. Super bad. That's so bad the game just crashed. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I guess that means we're back to the starting screen. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it loads and it saves an autosave every time you change areas. So we're just back to where before we bought ammo and stuff. But I'll go talk to Larry and then we'll go and get some goddamn blood. Jeez. Can't keep blood in me in this playthrough. I guess it's because I need to use it constantly to do anything. But before things get carried away, let's just find a um, enterprising young businesswoman and see if we can find something that will... I don't know, hold me over temporarily, since I can't seem to get the girls in the club to like me. God. Hey, baby. Yes. Mm. Uh, I forgot. I don't have any money. I don't think so. All right. Uh, great. Hey, man, what's up? Uh, all right. Larry, I will be right back. Hey, you remember you creepy lady that watched me feed before? What's up? <laughs> cool don't worry i'm not gonna kill her probably this game's really sketchy there we go perfect there everything is cool everything is awesome all right yo, 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 I got dinosaur partner. yeah okay hey i got the briefcase man yeah, yeah we already saw all this um i am unavailable during the day Say, my i will check it out i am not it out, right oh, dude i really want that gun that's it my yeah, dude, I need to do some shopping. Sell me this gun. Sell me some ammo for this gun. Buy this car stereo. Alright, cool. Um, no. Dude. He said he would give me access to his special stock, but he did nothing of the case. Like, I can totally buy the same guns that I could buy before. Alright, whatever. Hopefully the game won't crash when I get back over here. Yeah, get out of my way. Venus Dare. That name sounds familiar. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I don't know why it sounds familiar. Should I know? I don't think so. Alright. Um. Hey, what's up? Bartender man. Asshole. Oh, here we go. Everybody hey. comes in here, Scott, and the short house rules. Inhibition, the first thing you know. Do more of these, and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beef priestess, and it's time to confess. I'm... Are you a bartender or a groupie for the cure? Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? Uh, Larry mentioned me? Larry? Oh, so you're the Action Jackson he was going to send over? Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? That sounds like a terrible job, but I'm going to try and seduce you. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. That's it. What's in for me, yo? Drinks on the house. For a week. Um, I don't drink. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? I'm definitely worth it. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel. Tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind. Just don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priestess. Let's die. Back in a minute, there is a 65% chance that I'm going to shoot those dudes in the face and then bring it back here, and you're going to be pissed about it. Just wanted you to know. Um, 
Larry didn't told me I shouldn't start a street fight, but then he really didn't mind that I did. Whereas Venus really just wants me to run away. And I would prefer to not resort to violence. I mean, I made it this way killing on nobody that I haven't had to, so we're probably going to just pull a fast one on these guys, but I don't really know. This could be bad. Let's just queue up Celerity, and then we can not use it because we're in a masquerade area. Okay, let's not do that. Um, hmm. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Alright. Hey, guys. Confession. Each send you. That she did. Money. Where is money? Uh, she told me to tell you she doesn't have your money. No money? Uh, oh, sweet. I can be all angry. I don't need to pay anyone. Yeah. That was surprisingly level-headed of you, man. I mean, you do have a problem speaking to women, but... And your friends, they are like twins from Night at the Roxbury. Otherwise, everything's really cool. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. Okay. That was a non-event. I can live with that. Okay. Hit up confession again then. And um hey. Oh, you're not no different character model. You're one of the club people. You're that guy that hangs out outside the club but never goes in, aren't you? Yeah you are. Look at me. Yeah you are. Ugh. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Pretty sure this song gets me a content match too. This game is great, and I'm playing it because I really, really like it, but I have not got to <laughs> have copyright on any of the videos so far, almost. All right. What? Uh, pass on your message. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay. Where's your office? Were you wearing pink shorts last time I was here? I didn't notice. You know, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're in your office. That's weird. Why are there five candles? Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how'd you like to get into the club business, hmm? I'm afraid I'm not call a fellow. When I start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. That's rough, my kind of guy. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to... Fuck that fat, misogynistic old man. One more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. That's awesome. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to outsnare each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. I will be back. And then I will own a nightclub. Sure, it's a snooty nightclub where the girls won't talk to me, but all this could be mine. Whoa, there are girls in cages. I have suddenly reconsidered this offer. Why didn't I notice them before? Were they not there? Were they there? What the hell is going on? Whatever. What up? All right. Maybe when I'm part owner, girls will talk to me. I don't know. That seems sort of weirdly, like, possessive and strange. I think we'll just cut it out. And I think we'll take one for Team Womanhood by killing a misogynist old man who wants to sleep with women for their rent. So I think that's okay. Man, I feel like there was something I was supposed to be doing other than this, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on. I think I remember. I was supposed to figure that shit out where the quest glitched out, and I was supposed to find and finish off the Plague Bearers. Both of which I will worry about after I own my own nightclub. Duh. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Come on. Alright. I'm just gonna go upstairs. I don't really need to talk to you. Penthouse. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh wait, I forgot I have a key ring. 
Empire Mafia key. I guess Penthouse would be on the top floor. At least it uh, is in the real world. So, we shall see. Yeah, alright. Okay, let's just uh, try a little bit of this. Low a difficulty of nine. What the hell? Hold on. How in the hell can I get that high? Um, security. What is my what is my lock picking? It's a four. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. Not even with blood buff and a plus two. Um, maybe go this way. Oh yeah, the same key opens this. All right. Let's do a little bit of checking around if we can. Maybe this door isn't Fort Knox. Seven. Plus two, still not good enough. We get to six. That guy, it's what they get for wearing sunglasses at night. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. This must be the wrong room. I am so sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. I am mistaken. That's still the same room. Alright. Um, hey man. Your friends, they're really pissed off. Oh. oh, damn it. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I made it. I'm going in. Or not. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. This is the least graceful escape ever. Come here. I just knocked it over, didn't I? Awesome. All right, whatever. We'll try one more time. <sighs> Whoever coded this where the um, gratings become ladders. Oh, what am I doing? We'll try this way. This is much more graceful. That is weirdly convenient. Dude is just staring at the wall. These sunglass wearing guys are really a little creepy. Oh, there's the actual toilet. All right, so we have to sneak past this guy. <sighs> just in case the worst happens. All right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, cool. So that was perfect out in the hallway. Alrighty then. That looks like the right room. Um, hey, Flathead. Who the hell are you? Your hair is amazing. My presence is required by your boss. Thank you. Your hair is amazing. Dude, he's not. You're not very fat. What the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Some business to discuss with you. Well, spit it out before Dima blows your head all over Paul. That is true. Um, it would be easier without him hovering over me. You want Dima to leave? This could get embarrassing for you. I'm looking out for you, Boris. Okay, okay. Iti tada, Dima. Um, Venus sent me. Is that right? She said... She wants you out of her life, but she also wants the club for herself. Um, what the... Um... I need Caius Sporach, stupid, spoiled American child. Should she spit in my face? Um... She believes she is more than paid it for it. So Messenger boy, you 
do work for a stupid little girl? You are the man. Listen, I'm not gonna mince words with you. I don't care what you think. You will get nothing from me. Go tell that bitch she can pack up little club. Her name is Young Cough. Get the hell out of here. Ashley, go. Maybe you misheard me. Call the dead now. Hey, right there. Um, do I have the, do I have the deed? Did I get the deed to the club? I don't know if I have it. Oh my god. Let's see. I, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, alright, here we go. Suck it, suck it, suck it. Get the hell out of here. Oh god. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought would happen. I really don't want to kill those guys if I don't have to. Um, hmm. Alright, I have a much better plan. Let's walk past this moron. Alright. Oh, I should probably not have that out. Uh, I should probably have... Hold on. There we go. Alright. I, I need to see your boss. Dima is your name. Oh my god. Cutscene walking. Okay. Looks like that's what I need right there. Is that right? Yep, she. I'm... You want Dima to leave? Okay. I leave. So, what? Yeah, hand over the deed. You will get nothing from me. Free. Gun fight! That looks like. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Get! <sighs> really don't want to kill those guys. Alright, alright. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try something that I have not yet tried. I'm going to attempt to use presence on them, because apparently you can use presence in combat to cow enemies. I don't know if it will work on Dima, but it might. So it is worth a try. Can I just walk out of here? Yeah, there's no reason to even sneak. He's just staring at the wall. Alright, here we go. You. I'm done. Let me in. wonder if I make my, like, presence even higher. Business to discuss with you. Be easier without him here. Yes. Venus M. Is that the... She wants the club. She wants what's hers. More men than you'll ever be. All right. What's up? Okay. Boris is no more. All right. Here's my plan. There you go. You don't want to fight me, do you? No. You do any of you. Blood heal. Suck it. I'm out of here. Oh, god damn it. Why can't I go out this door? The hell? Oh my god. Even the simplest things are impossible when you can't fight. All right. All right, I'm gonna keep a cool head, and I'm going to kill my way out of this fucking place because I have fucked around enough, long enough. Hey, whatever. Dude, can you see me now? Wow, he just doesn't care. All right, well, that's fine. All right, let's plan my exit route. Left, 
into the ballroom. Oh my god, not into the ballroom. Not into the ballroom at all. And they're still looking for me because they're pissed because of reasons that I cannot disclose. Like me walking into the room. Um. Alright. Is there anything else entered? Oh, wait, wait, what do we here? Let's do this. What are my, um... Persuasion and seduction are only four. Why is my hacking... Oh, my hacking is crazy because I spent all my experience on it. Um... I don't, there's really not much I can do. Manipulation? Increases haggle. Appearance increases seduction. Charisma increases... So I... There's... Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I can... I kind of burnt it all on computer skills. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Yep. Um, sensitive product position. Get him out of here. Once the dice and okay, hand over the D. Maybe you misheard me. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Dima. Get the fuck out of here. You want more slurp flashes to your face? Get the fuck out. Come on, bitches. Yeah, you can run. I'm so fast. You can't even catch me. Yes, and I finally went to the right doors. Elevator. And I'm done. That was way easier if you just whack them with your sword a couple of times. All right. I think that's where we're going to end. Let's make sure we can safely get the hell out of this hotel. Uh, you want to investigate a disturbance? Look Gunfire up. on the sixth floor? No? All right. Then that's where we're going to end. I will go and tell Venus that the club is mine and, well, and hers um, in just a little bit. And after that, it'll be awesome.